Hi, everybody. How you doing? Well, let me tell you, I had a great day today, okay? Uh, today was AJ's birthday. He got up happy, and uh, he was laughing when he got up. We had breakfast. Um, my daughter, Alyssa, came over, and she brought a cake. She brought an Easter lily. She brought a balloon, and it was really nice. It was really nice. We had a good day. He woke up happy, and Alyssa came over, and uh, his mom called, and uh, that was a nice greeting. She sang to him. Uh, Sheila called up and wished him happy birthday and sang to him, which was great. Uh, then she, later on this afternoon, she brought over a cake, and uh, he had two cakes today, God bless him. Then I took him out for lunch, and then I bought him some ice cream. I bought him an orange push-up pop. He loves orange push-up pops. And he ate that. And uh, came home, and uh, after supper, we had two cakes. We had a little birthday party with ice cream. Uh, Edie from next door uh, and Ashley, they sang to him, happy birthday. He got, got, got a card from his grandmother, Carol Reese. And, uh, but we had a good day. And uh, I just put him to bed. I washed him, bathed him, put him to bed, and he was happy. And he, he may hear me talking right now. So uh, then I started thinking, you know, we had a, I devoted today and dedicated today to AJ. I wasn't going to let anything ruin my day with AJ. But then I was thinking about what Jesus was going through today. Today's uh, Holy Thursday, uh, the Feast of the Passover. There's a night before they crucified him can't imagine what Jesus is going through. You can't imagine knowing that tomorrow he's going to die, having dinner with his friends, prayed over him, told him he was going to go somewhere where he's going, they cannot come, they couldn't understand that. Then Judas left the room to betray him and all his disciples thought that Judas was going to go out and give money to the poor or something. They didn't know what was going on. Then Jesus said to a couple of his apostles, come out with me. We, they went to the garden, and Jesus went out to pray. And he said, don't fall asleep. Don't to watch, watch over me. He, he, knew the, he knew what was going to happen, that the, the guards were going to come get him. He went to pray. But can you imagine praying so hard that you sweat blood? We can't imagine what he was going through. Okay? And then he says something to him, okay? He says, I leave you another commandment, okay? Love one another as I have loved you. You know, the Ten Commandments, God said, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, okay? Jesus didn't say don't do anything. He says, go out and love one another. It might be hard for us to understand that, he, he, he wants us to love our enemies. We've got to pray for our enemies. Remember when he died on the cross, he said, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. They put nails in his hands. They nailed him to the cross. They beat him. And he said to God, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. Wow. That's pretty powerful. The agony in the garden, dying on the cross. Love one another as I have loved you. I dedicated today to my grandson, AJ. I wasn't going to let anything step in the way. I don't know if you know about AJ. AJ's blind and he's nonverbal. Okay? His life is in with me. And I got to give up my life to give him a life. The best life I could possibly give him. Okay? I love him that much. And now he's in bed sleeping and I'm going to lay down and meditate on Holy Thursday, and what Jesus went through. It's hard to comprehend, but put yourself in the same position as Jesus was going through. We can't, we can't, we can't imagine. We gotta pray for our enemy. We gotta love our enemy. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. 
they hurt you, they didn't know they were hurting you. They just didn't know. They didn't know Jesus. No one comes to the Lord God except through me. That's what Jesus tells them. This is the night of the Last Supper. He gives them one more commandment. Love one another. Dear Jesus, I ask you to show us how to love. Show us how to have compassion with our brothers and sisters. If they hurt us, we have to forgive them. Lord, we have to forgive them like you forgave us. You were nailed to the cross because of us. I ask you to put your blessing over us. Let us come closer to you. Let us understand what you were all about. We ask you to draw us closer to you. We ask you to form a miracle this weekend, okay, like you did 2,000 years ago. This coronavirus, I didn't even watch the news today, okay? It's depressing. I don't want to, if you want to be depressed, watch depressing news. You want to be happy, happy, watch happy news, okay? Positive news, positive things, not negative. It's all negative, negative, negative. Lord, let me look at the positive in people. Let me feel the, uh, let me, compassion for others. And give me the strength and courage to be more like you. In Christ's Lord we pray, amen. See you all tomorrow. Tomorrow's Good Friday, okay? I don't know if I'm coming on tomorrow night, but we'll see. Love you all. Thank you. Pray for a miracle. Ciao for now. Bye.